Konami is doing it again. Oh, Monday morning. What are we gonna do today? Let's see. What is this? Valiant Smashers? Early release? Wait, but rare, but rarity could, I was just, I was gonna open more rarity. Valiant Smashers is here already? Konami? Did everybody enjoy Rarity Collection? Good, because it's over now. We knew this was coming, or at least we knew that there was gonna be a new set soon after, but four days after the official release, we have new product openings. Yay. Best set of the year. We only give it four days to breathe before they're like, guys, it's time to pre-order. And yeah, I have a pre-order code. You guys can use it with Sassy Auto if you'd like, but wow, four days later, we're not done. I mean, Rarity Collection's still a thing, right? I recently did a video about how we're overprinting Yu-Gi-Oh! product. You can go watch it right here if you guys didn't see it. Feels like a lot of you did because a lot of people have come up and said they liked it, so that's cool. So I figured I'd do a follow-up here after seeing this because Rarity Collection was extremely fun. I had a ton of fun opening it up. I know a lot of people were enjoying it. A lot of people were buying the product and it seemed like a lot of people were interested in the videos as well, which basically means it's probably a good product. And everything I saw online was super positive, like 99% of people were super pumped about the product. And even if you have slight concerns about it, you still enjoyed it. Like you couldn't help it. You're like, oh, I hate that they're reprinting my cards, but I get to open seven rarities of each card. So who cares? And now we're releasing another set. And not only is it just another set, it's not like a core set, it's a collector rare set. And you guys know how I feel about collector rare sets. They just suck. You open 24 packs of a booster box and you get three ultra rares and maybe one in three chance at a collector rare. Okay, I did see after recording the video, there are three quarter century secret rares and Valiant Smasher. So I do want to acknowledge that that's a thing, but it doesn't really change anything. <laughs> Guess what? If you open a rarity collection box, you can open one box, you get four collector rares a box. If you're gonna release a CR set with like pretty lackluster excitement when it comes to actually opening the product, I know they're deck building sets, so that's kind of what they're for, but if you're gonna release something like that, you can't do it four days after Rarity Collection. I know it's not released yet, but they're promoting it with the early openings, like hoping you'll pre-order it, so it's basically the same thing. It can't come after Rarity Collection. Rarity Collection had seven rarities. You're pulling four collector rares, four ultimate rares, three QCRs, three of the platinum rares in one box, and then they want you to go buy a Valiant Smashers box, which you can pull three ultras in an entire box and probably not a collector rare. If you have to choose between those two, which one are you gonna pick? Hmm, I don't know. Of course, current players trying to keep up with new decks are probably gonna either have to, they're probably not gonna buy boxes, but they're at least gonna buy singles of it. So they're hoping that somebody will open it up so they can buy the singles. It just sucks for them because they just probably bought some rarity collection because they needed all those staples. They're cheap now. I guess they could have still bought singles or whatever. And now they gotta buy more of this new set four days later. Just look at these release dates I have right here. We have the uh, Konami tournament legal date 11-3. Okay, OTS is a couple days early. Then we've got Valiant Smashers. Wait, I gotta scroll up a little bit. Okay, two weeks later. Wait, guys. Uh, oh, we got we got a structure deck coming up. So a structure deck. So more stuff to buy. Fortunately, they're, they're cheap. They're eleven ninety nine. But still, more stuff coming up. Just figured I'd throw that out there. Rarity Collection itself is a supercharged reprint set. It has seven of each version. It should warrant a long period of time before there's any other products coming out after it. And you might say, well, it's reprints anyway, so we're gonna need new cards. But we've just had a core set, Age of Overlord, two weeks before that. So you have Age of Overlord, you then cut that off quickly with Rarity Collection, which it's like, nobody was that mad. Age of Overlord was a great set. Nobody's that mad because everyone's so excited for Rarity Collection. But now you put like a lackluster set on the tail end two weeks later after that? Why? With Rarity Collection already injecting so many reprints into the market, why not just have this as the last set of the year and just don't print anything until January. What's the problem? People will be buying Rarity Collection for a long time. You don't need to add more stuff for people to buy. They already have something they want to buy. You can already see the significant impact that Rarity Collections had on singles. If you check out Pot of Prosperity, you have the Rarity Collection version. Then you have the Tin of Pharaoh Gods is down to $13. You have the original Blazing Vortex down to $16. You want to go to the Starlight printing. This thing's all the way down to $294, which is like, wow, that's a lot. But it used to be like a $500, $600 card. You can see this right here because of the Rarity Collection announcement. Rarity Collections 
Wilson's already decimated the market when it comes to reprints, which is totally good for a lot of people. I, it's somewhat concerning if they keep doing this. I've already talked about it. You don't want everything to just go poof. But the important thing is this has allowed a lot of people to actually buy these boxes and get a lot of cards that they need. But it's been such a short time. Like it released on Friday, OTS on Wednesday, but Friday for the official Konami tournament legal release. A lot of people haven't even bought their rarity collection boxes yet. They're wanting to buy them over the next couple weeks or months. And if we're printing more cards, they might decide to go back and buy rarity collection over the new set they probably will. So if you want to sell a new set, why are you putting it right next to a set that people are still wanting to buy? A lot of people don't pre-order. A lot of people don't buy them in the first week or they buy one box and they're like, I want to save up for another box. Like in two weeks, I'm going to buy another box or whatever. But if there's another set already that they're not having to decide, do I want rarity collection or do I want the new set? I kind of want the new cards, but I also didn't get enough of the rarity collection. If you don't have that set at all, they just go back and buy rarity collection. Konami, you still get money, but you don't put way too many cards into the market. I'm like, come on. Sure. If the set sucked and rarity collection was super boring. Yeah, sure. Print another set. I know they have to plan this stuff like six, seven a year ahead of time, whatever. They already had this all planned since our last video. I know that, but still like who, what were they thinking beforehand? They're like rarity collection. This is going to be one of our best sets ever. People are going to love it. How about we put another release right after it and before it? So there's no time for anything. Just you can't, you don't have time to pre-order it because you had to buy Age of Overlord. You don't have time to buy it after its release because you have another Valiant Smashers collector rare set. So now people are either getting wallet fatigue in general because they, I mean, they just don't have enough money to buy this stuff. Like that's just ridiculous. Or they're just tired of like buying new Yu-Gi-Oh cards not in the money wise, but they're like, I just already have so many new cards. I don't need any new cards right now. I just feel like it's so unlikely that somebody is going to buy a regular old collector rare set, or at least most people when they compare it to a set like Rarity Collection. And I personally am just bummed about this. I'm going to do new openings for everything no matter what, but I was having so much fun with Rarity Collection and I was going to continue to make more Rarity Collection content. Normally I would just do a few videos and be done, but I had some ideas for like theories of Rarity Collection. Uh, I guess this is Rarity Collection right here. I'm going to do my binder, probably still going to do that, show off what we did in the live stream. I have a lot more ideas for Rarity Collection, but now I am even getting encroached on by this new stuff. Now I'm like, okay, well, I better hurry up and post that stuff because I got to start posting the new set next week. And I'm just not ready to move on from Rarity Collection. I think it was so much fun. We literally are even a week into the release we're already having to talk about a new set not a lot has changed from what i said in the last video which a lot of you guys saw and i know obviously when we made that last video they already had this schedule they already had rarity collection coming out they had age of overlord two weeks before and then they had the valiant smashers two weeks after but i am hoping that if they see the previous video and then they see this video they'll realize they really don't like when we do this. And if you do agree and you think that we need to space this stuff out a little bit, let me know in the comments because the real crime here is cutting off Rarity Collection, which was one of the most exciting sets we've ever had. I had an absolute blast opening the set up. We, I literally went for 10 hours the other day opening the set and I literally was having fun till the end. Normally on a set, on a long opening like that, I'm miserable by like hour four. Hour 10, I was having fun opening the set. It was so much fun. And I just hate that we're cutting that off to open some boring collector rare set because I've said it every time we open collector rare sets. They're boring. They're not fun to open. There are cool cards in there sometimes, but they're not fun to open. And I know a lot of you guys don't open sets at all anyway, so you don't really care if they're boring to open, but it's just lame. And the value back in the sets is just so weird because you get three ultras and that's it. It's just so weird. I don't like it. I'm not excited about it. I know I'm going to be opening Valiant Smashers. I'm not excited about it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not excited about Valiant Smashers, but if you do want to check it out, I will have a pre-order code. So yeah, I mean, I know you guys aren't excited about it either. Let's be honest. I mean, who's excited about it? Okay. Maybe some of you guys are excited about it, but I I'm just not, I'm not excited. We're going to be opening it up. Maybe, maybe in a week or whenever it comes out, I think it comes out officially in a week and a half or whatever. I'll be excited about it, but I just wanted to do I'm more rarity. Cl like, rarity collection. Why Konami? Why? Oh yeah. yeah guys, it's just a thing that's happening. And hopefully 2024 will calm down a little bit. It'll be a little bit better. We'll make awesome product like Rarity Collection. We'll allow it to breathe a little bit. We'll get to open it over the course of a month or two before we print something immediately after. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Dax, Search, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu, Guan 62, Yu Gi Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Barty, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.